Hello, Freeman. I am King Flyforce, and beside me, as always, is Founding Father and Godfather Novagoth, and welcome to Fathers at Five. How are you feeling tonight, Nova? Feeling kind of blocky. You feeling kind of blocky? We're well, we're all feeling kind of blocky. As of late, we've had a lot of stuff going on, and we've had a bunch of big things happening, and we do have a, a grand of unveiling, revealing, whatever you want to call it tonight, but we'll get to that in a minute. First off, I want to talk about a couple of big changes, not big changes, but stuff that are happening here. We're sad to say that today is the announcement of the retirement of King of the Wren. For some of you that don't know, King of the Wren was a uh, quartermaster in Sea of Thieves fleet. He rose to the ranks of captain. He then became the first one to come up with the studio idea, and then he turned that into the network and has currently been holding the position of network executive officer. But today he will be retiring. It's uh, sad to see Brand him go. <laughs> what a quitter. <laughs> well, didn't you retire, Nova? You can't really be mad at no Ren for retiring. My motto is get out while you're still hot. Oh, so you, uh, you know, you can't go downhill and just look like shit when you finally leave. Oh, my lord. Okay, well, don't take that advice, everyone. But with Riz retiring, there is going to be new officers moving up in the network. I'm excited to say the uh, first promotion happening in the network is actually to the gentleman, Lord Drycan. He's been a big part of the Minecraft project. I want to say shout out and congratulations to him for becoming a network senior it officer. The con or can? I've always called him can. Is it con? Well, can C A N. Have I been have I been saying his name wrong for the past like six months? Yeah. He's never corrected me. <laughs> Should well, I be worse? You're, that's because you're king. Hey, well, why would he step on the king's shoes? You don't go to a general and just because he spells your name wrong and correct him. No, <laughs> you can't. Well, it's right. all right. Am I right? right? Yeah, all right. Okay, fine. All right, moving on. Moving on. Um, I'd also like to say shout out to Das Wolf's Den Yo. Um, he's stepping like up in his. Flight farce. Oh, my hey, lord. Hey, flight farce. He... Would you what? correct me if I was a general? No, you'd take flight farce and you continue <laughs> on. You go, yes, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on from that, I'd like to congratulate Dinyo on making it to uh, General Support Officer. He'll be putting on that title later this week, stepping up into the lovely, lovely Officer Corps, and I'm excited for it. I'm excited to see him moving up, progressing up. Uh, definitely well earned. Now, there's going to be several more promotions going out this week, so expect a lot of changes as we allow all these. We start recognizing these great, great freemen that have done great things and really letting them step up into the roles they deserve. Did I get co-king yet? Co-king? What would, what would yeah. a co-king do? Same thing a fucking king does. Oh, so you're going to take half my workload? But, fuck no, it's just a title. <laughs> okay. Well, with that being said... Uh, Let's start talking about the highlighted games of the week. Last week we highlighted one such game, but he wasn't here to talk about it, so we're going to highlight it again. Let's highlight Red Dead Redemption 2. Nova, tell us about Red Who Dead Redemption. Who wasn't here? You wasn't here. I was here. You I was watching you on Mixer. <laughs> you looked quite lonely. I Was I lonely? I was lonely by myself. You, you looked quite lonely and depressed. I was depressed. I, well, I'm I'm sorry, but okay. Tell us about Red Dead Redemption Two. Uh, if you haven't got it, go get it. It's really cool. You you, you gonna give us anything else about the game? Anything? What's, well, what what, what impresses you? you about it, when I tried to tell you about it yesterday, you kept saying I was spoiling it for you. So well, no, don't tell. Don't I tell. I don't want to spoil it for nobody. Don't tell them what to do. What impresses you? Is it the graphics? Is it the story playing? Is it the way the character stories unfold? Is it the mechanics? What is it that makes the game great? What makes it that you keep coming back to it? Okay. For my personal view, graphics are phenomenal. Story 
is really cool. It will get you emotional and, and pissed off at times. Uh, there's a ton of crap to do in it. Uh, replayability for me personally, uh, I've restarted three times and I'm on the uh, third time right now. And it's I've gone all the way through the story in that blog and it's uh, quite, quite, what's the word? Uh, quite exceptional. The ending, the ending, I mean, well, it's a story and then you die, but then you come back as another character. But, oh, I shouldn't have said that. But oh, anyway, my Lord. You're going to you get pissed off. Help. You're going to get pissed off. Especially at the end in the story. But... There's a lot of cool stuff, and uh, and the way you die. Well, uh, oops. Oh my, oh my lord! Oh my lord! You just okay. can't help yourself. Okay, I will can say you? this. He can't I help will himself. Say yeah. this. We'll edit it out. It's okay. If you if you are playing, there's three extremely rare horses in the game. Oh you no! The don't Arabian, don't tell us about the Arabian. horses. Let us find them You've on got our own. The tigers. I tigers, can't stop right? Mustang. I can't stop and him, you yeah. got a random horse that only spawns in enemy camps. And I have yet to find that one, but I got, I had got the other two. And uh, they're quite uh, quite unique. Uh, All right, we're going to... We're, 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 mo no, we're moving on. We're so moving on. To we're we're moving on. It's crafting, so, so fishing, whether it's uh, <laughs> herbalism... Uh, okay. The, okay. The animals, when the legendary bear kills you or attacks you, it's just phenomenal. It's awesome to experience. You'll get your heart racing. Uh, I, I, Nova, Nova, that's many, enough. many hours. They're calling it for you to many, stop. Many, many hours. Oh, many God. hours of gameplay in this thing. Oh my lord. Okay, we're moving on. You said you wanted me to tell you about Red Dead Redemption I, 2, so I'm, I'm telling you. All right. We got enough. We got enough. We're good. Thank you. Thank oh, you for that. And you, you don't get laid in this game. I oh, mean, my Lord. Have the mercy. girl giving you the bath, she don't do nothing. She just teases don't you. Don't you. Don't it's tell about like the bath. Don't tell oh, about the oh. Stop. No, stop. We're done. Right. Moving on from Red Dead. All right. Well, we're not moving on from Red Don't Dead. Don't spend the got... fifty cents for a bath, extra bath. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay, so with with, with Nova's you missed uh, me, didn't you? Spoilers this, this didn't happen last week. The spoilers of Red Dead Redemption. I'm sorry for the spoilers, y'all. Uh, but this Friday night, actually, I'm going to be. Uh, hosting Red Dead Redemption on live stream. The Freemen are going to be playing the game together for all of those that don't, that haven't got to play it, that haven't got to, but you want to see the story, you want to, you know, kind of see what happens. We're going to be playing on stream. I'm going to be having the stream help me make some of those decisions, and we'll see what comes of it. It'll be exciting. So, you know, come out, watch the stream Friday night, and enjoy. With that being said, let's also talk about Tabletop Simulator that's coming out. The games are being planned on this Saturday. People are going to be playing Monopoly together. If you have that game or interested in getting that game, get in the Tabletop Simulator channel. Talk to uh, Sloth. He's going to be hosting Monopoly. I think I'm going to be there. So we're going we're gonna to go get mad at one another. But let's move on to the second game we're talking about, which isn't really the game itself, but we're talking about the Freeman Minecraft Adventure. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is the grand reveal. This is the big spot. The project is done. It's done. I thought you weren't going to reveal it. Oh, we're revealing part of it. Two, two you months. You said ten, 15 minutes ago you weren't revealing anything. That's because I'm not letting you spoil it. This is my, my spoiler. I get to spoil something. <laughs> two months two months of work by several of your fellow Freemen to bring you just, just an, ex an exceptional, exceptional, exceptional thing. And here we go. Here it is. Drum roll. Excitement. We're going to pan up here. Here we go. Bum, ba, 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 ba. And standing behind me is the Freeman Castle. And it's and don't worry, y'all. We're not going to have a big castle without some fireworks display. There we That's go. Awesome. <laughs> 
Welcome to the Freeman Castle of NASA. Black and gold, baby. Big, daunting, just absolutely exciting. Um, I'm excited. So here's what I wanted to let you all know about the Freeman Adventure. The Freeman Minecraft Adventure will be going off in two weeks. The very first adventure will be Friday night. Not this Friday. This Friday's Red Dead Redemption. Next Friday or, or next Saturday is going to be the very first adventure. So if you want to be part of the first adventurers to roam into this world created for you by your fellow Freeman, it's massive, it's large, it's insane, the details are crazy, it's, it's spectacular, and it's all here for you. A game built by your fellow Freeman just for the Freeman. One of a kind. So I uh, highly recommend you sign up when you see the sign out go up. Sign up to join the uh, Freeman Minecraft adventure. Sign up to be a part of one of the adventurers. Uh, I will tell you, uh, later this week, I'll be releasing a broadcast about how the adventure will function. You do not play the adventure like you play Minecraft. That means you do not get to run around and just break blocks and everything like that. However, you're not being forced to play in adventure mode where you don't have the ability to do anything other than walk around. So, we do have kind of skill trees, currency... All these little things, almost like playing D&D. It's like playing Skyrim, except, you know, you're not playing Skyrim. Instead, you're playing the Freeman Minecraft Adventure. So, I'm excited. I'm, I, I, I love the reveal. I love the fireworks are still going. You're always excited. I'm always excited. You're telling me you don't like don't this firework why. display? Either, you don't like this firework either display? Either you're on crack 24-7. I'm on crack. Or, are you just, or something else. I don't know what's going on. Are you, with just, you, are you just not? Are you not impressed? People by that? normally are not excited, 24/7. Oh, I'm just excited about this adventure. I'm excited about an amazing, amazing game. You always say, "I'm excited," or you say, "With that being said." Oh my lord. Okay, so <laughs> let's talk about Sea of Thieves, Nova. Have you, uh, you've not been keeping up with Sea of Thieves. I've been keeping up with. It Thieves. died. It it's died. not. I it's to spoil it for you. It fucking died. Oh wow. Okay. Well, Sea of Thieves does have arena mode coming out this spring. We're waiting for more information. I know a lot of you are interested in it. And as we get stuff, we'll make sure that it's shared. Are you not excited for arena mode? You're not. I'm excited about this adventure. I am crazy excited about. There's. 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 I. I. I I'm trying not to spoil anything. I'm trying not to spoil anything. Let, let's just express this. This is there are thousands of Easter eggs hidden all over this city that only Freeman will understand. Thousands. thousands. Just the detail is insane. I, I, I imagine having a game built for you by people that know you and they just think about what you would like to see. That's that's what this is. That's what this is. Oh, um, oh, and. And if you find my golden skull hidden somewhere inside the walls of Nassau, you get a super rare prize. But you gotta find it. You gotta Whether find it. Dig digging or, or destroying it, it it's, it's hidden somewhere. Are you, are you so encouraging people look, to look destroy the city? Are you trying to encourage people? <laughs> There's a hidden skull. If you can find that, you win the super rare, coolest prize in the world. Oh, my lord. Okay. Um, <laughs> the fireworks are still going. How long is this fireworks spray? I gotta give shout outs to the people that put up the fireworks. Actually, I really want to just do a shout out with the project being done. I want to real quick say thank you to all the individuals that were part of the project that refrigerated, put time in. You know, I want to give a shout out to my two foremans, GSO Jim Bain and head counselor uh, Sloth. Thank you to GSO Grey Wolf, GSO Olympics, Cinco Consumer, Nova, Drycon, Midnight, Purple Sock Puppet, Shadow Shifter. Shiny Tardis, Skull Blocka, and Nightmare. I just want to say thank you all to all of you guys for all the hours, all the time, all the stuff you put in for the Freeman. It, it's, what did I do? Well, you you built you're building your thing that we're not going to say. That's for them. The theme park. Ah, damn it! You just cannot you cannot help yourself, can you? I haven't haven't done anything to it since Red Dead came out. I'm going to be honest. Oh, Lord have mercy. We'll have it. Don't worry. So, so, 
since you hated my uh, wrapping the castle with the uh, Kraken idea, I'm going to put that around my house. That's an awesome idea. I like that. We're going to have Krakens in this thing now. Hey, let's Any really of you guys want to see a Kraken wrapped around this castle, pipe one. It's Kraken. Why he keeps... Okay, all Kraken. right, we're, move, we're moving on. We're moving on. Okay, dry can. Okay, I I realize what I said, but it's a light we're, force. We're light, moving. Light force. Is there anything else you want to add before we do our final special little? Actually, we'll move on. I'm not getting any questions on the tent. I want to keep this nice, short, and sweet. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with two special shout outs tonight. Of course, it's veterans. Nobody typed one. Nobody typed one. It's. <laughs> Uh, of course, shout out to, oh my, it's Veterans Day, y'all. It's Veterans Day in America, but I Yesterday recommend Yesterday was Veterans Day. It's for us, we're recognizing that it's Veterans Day because we didn't get to yesterday because okay. Fathers of Five is today. Did you celebrate yesterday? Yes, I did. I've been what celebrating all weekend. What did you do? Oh, the fireworks kept going. What the? Well, I celebrated with my family and remembrance and uh, always, of course, the standard uh, never forget. Always keeping in mind, you know, I'm a, I'm a veteran myself. Jessica, who's family, she's active duty military still. Nova, you're a veteran. I just want to say thank you to all our fellow veterans in the Freeman. Now, now what kind of dick thing are you trying to do to that? I was just asking if you celebrated or not. You know, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what? You didn't even ask me what I did. I, well, that's because you're typically trying to lure me into a trap is what you're typically doing. Um, oh, no. <laughs> uh, no, what did you do for Veterans Day, Nova? I went to Applebee's. Applebee's? That's nice. Applebee's. If you went to Applebee's and you're a veteran, they, they rolled out the red carpet for you. It was really humbling to sit there and see the effort and everything they did for all the veterans that came in. <clears throat> It was packed, but they gave you a free dinner. They gave you a free beer. They gave you a painted stone. That, uh, like I got a painted stone of the American flag saying thank you for your service. Uh, thank you cards. I mean, it, they really treated the veterans well, and I'm, I'm really proud of that. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't know that they did that at Applebee's. I personally, I celebrated at home with uh, my family that day. But again, special thank, thank you to all of the service members that are a member of the Freeman. Thank you for all you've done and all you continue to do on some days. Just absolutely from one veteran to another, thank you for your service. I hear... I hear uh, California didn't celebrate Veterans Day. Oh my, we're not getting into that. We're not getting into this. No, you know moving why? on. Next one. Nope. Don't want to know you why. You want to know why? Nope. Nope. California and Florida, they didn't celebrate. You want to know why? They were I... too busy filling out Democrat voting cards. I live in <laughs> Florida. What are you possibly talking about? Oh, my God. Hey, how, I've got a question for you. Very serious question. Oh, I, how I come Republicans? That. How come Republicans can only vote on November 6th, but Democrats can vote until they win? I don't know, because I'm also Republican, <laughs> and you keep forgetting this. You're only Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, you're Republican. Is that Tuesday? So I'm half, I'm, I'm half Republican? We're not getting into this. Yeah. All right, moving on to our other shout-out. <laughs> Our other shout out, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say if you haven't got the news, I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you, but unfortunately, a great, great man has died today. Mr. Stan Lee has left this earth. Um, he is oh, touched. Oh, man. Yeah, he's touched millions, uh, myself included. Uh, a massive inspiration, and uh, just, you know, he helped me get through hard times when he was, uh, when I was young. Loved those comics, loved his work, and uh, really, really going to miss him. And uh, everything that he's done and added that I remember when, I remember when comics were ten cents a a, a book. Those you were some phenomenal days. Those are phenomenal days. Who's who's your favorite? Oh, yeah. Who's your favorite comic uh, by Mister Stanley? Uh, my 
two favorite characters were growing up was uh, uh, I have to say Captain America and uh, Thor were my two favorites, and then followed up by uh, Superman, and then Batman, and then. Uh, we're getting into and, other uh, getting into other realms there, but I'm gonna say my favorite was a, a Spider Man. Always I always loved Spider Man. Always loved what was going on uh, with Spider Man. I never liked him too much. We never liked Spider Man. No, nah, running around in a leotard. Uh, they all run around in leotards. Spandex. <laughs> they all run that... around in spandex. It's not a single one yeah, of them that it. does it. I I'm think more, more cool than others. I think you're a Black Panther fan. That's what I think. You're a Black Panther fan. I never saw that movie. Yep, you're you're a massive Black Panther fan. That's yeah, that would be that would be your movie. You would love that movie. It's all about politics. All about politics. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't love that movie. Sick and tired of politics. So, you know, a, ma a massive, massive, you know, like I said, sad to be the ones to give you the bearer of the bad news. But, of course, yes, Mr. Stan Lee has died today. And we just want to have a little moment uh, of remembrance to him and all that he did. So please keep that in mind. And uh, just, yeah, I, I don't know what to follow that up. Oh, I have, I have a, an apology to make. Oh, you have an apology? Okay, who's the apology to? Okay, to all the people I have offended on the uh, Discord uh, in reference to pol political uh, banter back and forth, uh, I'd like to say that you need to suck it up, Cupcake. Oh, my and, love uh, of God. Get over it. Love of jeez. That's not an apology, Nova. That's not how apologies what? work at all. That's not how they work oh. at all. I've been practicing that all You've week. Pra You've been practicing that? <laughs> That's not how they work at all. I Jeez. tried to sound. It, I tried to make it sound heartfelt. Oh my God. Okay. Well, with the, the, that's that's the end of Fathers at Five. For, every, for everyone involved, I got a participation trophy for you. So stop by and get one. Oh my love of. Okay. This this is typically where if you were on a proper news channel, you'd be fired. But when... <laughs> not if I was on CNN. Oh my, okay. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that has been our Fathers of Five. As always, it's been great to see you. I'm your king, Flight Force, and Godfather Nova beside me. And, and okay. And we're the Freemen of NASA. There's our NASA castle. The Freemen of NASA. We game together. Did you change the last part? Cause, uh, no, you no, changed no, it's, part of, no, no, it's still, we died. Me. No, it's, we died together. What, what, why is, is okay. it your goal? We to game do... together. We, we died game together. together. There you go.